Hi Virgo, welcome to May 2024. Let's get started. Yes, it's May already. Okay, past life oracle deck. Let's see what past life you're dealing with. Karmically cutting ties too. Let's look. Wow. Persecution. Inquisition. Some of you were wrongfully persecuted, which quite frankly, there's another sign that had this. I can't remember who that you may be dealing with in this lifetime. However, let's just uh, be aware that to you, for you, Virgos, you're like, you know what? That's not fair. Maybe you're like a Virgo Libra cusper because this could also be about, you know, the justice system or just the injustices of life being sometimes not fair, right? Someone accusing you wrongfully and or vice versa. I, I always see this, this woman, literally, sorry for the glare, this woman as like a mother-in-law. You know, like, anyway, <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. What is going on for May 2024? Okay, let's see, Virgos, what's happening? Wow, this is, how beautiful is this? Okay, well, the first thing that comes out, it, the question that I have is how much is, how deep is your faith? Thank you, Spirit. How deep is your faith? Wow, look at that. Your faith is strong. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Some of you live in a warm climate, always sunny, getting the sunshine, knowing that you're getting that good, you know, vitamin D. Some of you are wanting to be there. And then we have, right, the Page of Pentacles. So, so it's kind of like you're not going anywhere. You don't want to go anywhere, nor do you need to go anywhere. You, I feel like you have, you, you are feeling very much comfortable in your faith, in your home, in your life, great happiness. You're just feeling really good about your your space, your your world. I mean, everything's kind of like you know what they say, right? When nothing's hap when nothing's going on or if you even were contemplating something, you do nothing because I feel like you're very comfortable in your own world here right now. Some of you are definitely working out, doing like really, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing, but you're definitely showing the, that six pack. Some of you have long hair. And or some of you did youth, youth in your youth have long hair and now you have lost it, but you haven't lost your faith. I don't know why I needed to say that, you know? I don't know, does it matter? Does it really matter at the end of the day? Cause I don't, I feel that as a very much, that's a very sexy attribute, personally. Some of you have those, um, those um, bands of energy that you wear, like a wristband, 
those energy wristbands. I don't know exactly what they were called, but I always was fascinated with them. Comment below if you do have one or wear one, I should say. Also, I'm seeing orbs around you. Are you seeing orbs? Some of you are retired and extremely happy. I have to say, like, look at you, your childhood, your, it could be the present moment now, but you have grown wise. The wisdom of the ages is here. I just saw it. How beautiful is this? Absolutely beautiful. Some of you are not aging at all, right? What's the secret to aging? Like where our physical bodies and our skin and everything. Do you know what it is? It's love. It's faith. It's love in ourselves. It's loving our bodies. It's loving who we are. And of course, accepting. Okay, I love this. I mean, right? But let's let's dive definitely deeper into your read to see what's happening for the month of May. Because right now I'm like, okay, so hmm, some of you are either separated and you're praying to spirit, you're sp God, you're praying to God for to help you with your faith. Okay, so on the outside, and I'm going to say it here with this card, on the outside, if you're married, you're like, you look like the perfect couple. But on the inside, you're praying that you can feel that way again with your spouse or live-in or person. Okay, so see how the see how the course of time has changed one's resolve of needing to have faith. And that's why it came out, right? That's why we pull more cards so that we can get more of the storyline. Okay. Wow, someone is missing someone who has left. Now, this could be a live-in, someone that you've gone to the beach with, like you've gone to either vacations, trips, or you live by the beach. You live in a warm climate. You, go, you used to go to the beach and or the lake and sit and talk and kiss, etc. And now you're missing that person because there's they are no longer in your life. Wow, I am so sorry. Maybe we should have stuck to those three cards, right? No, not really. All right, someone's missing someone. Grieving the loss. It could be someone who has crossed over for sure going to the light, right? But let's see. I I did not feel that immediately. What I did feel is that this is someone whom you went to the beach with and had really good times with and you're just missing them because they're no longer with you. You separated, you split up. Yeah, you split up. That's what it is. Someone wants... Some of you, some your spouse or someone's asking for a divorce or a separation. Wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. Really going through it, shall we say. Someone's really going through it.
this is the Kundalini rising. So oh, I'm going to say this loss may be one of your dark nights of the soul, whereby you are clearing out the things in your life. that no, the things in your life that no longer serve your highest good. The justice, what was fair? Was it fair? Was it fair whomever left your life? Because they like, they were, they set you on fire and that means you were totally attracted to this person. They were extremely attractive. They're right here, of course. There, look at that. It, this already happened. There was a fight, a competition. We have two fives, wow. And I won't be, I'm telling you right now, I would not be surprised if we don't get another five. But that's not the point right now. These changes that you are going through are massive releasing because spirit wants your faith to be stronger and to be stronger in your own right rightfully stronger meaning you know like we we know that we know that when people leave our our world and I'm saying that, you know, you lose a loved one is is w one type of loss versus the loss of someone who's, you know, a divorce, a breakup. I feel this is a breakup. Definitely Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who was extremely attractive. And you're praying that maybe you can get another chance. But I don't feel, I feel like if you tried to get another chance, it will be a no. And I'll tell you why, because I feel the person, look at that divorce. I feel that the person, this person that you were with, that you're missing, is not interested in, in going, you know, um, another round. If it was like this, yeah. I feel someone thought the relationship honestly was very physical and may it may not have been able to grow further than just the physical. That's how I feel. This is a page. I feel someone, if you are married, someone is wanting a divorce. Now, Virgo, if you're involved, we have Libra here. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is either your person that you're dealing with or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this is like someone got caught. Someone got caught. Yep, the Seven of Swords. So, you know, it's like you ask, you're the spouse or the girlfriend or whatever, someone asked a lot of questions and thing, questions and the answers were not adding up. I think someone rightfully just got caught and there was no growth. So the conversation Look at you have the page twice. There was no growth. We're not growing. Um, maybe that if you got caught, someone said, well, this relationship is purely physical. I don't know. I think there's a Rod Stewart song like that. The attraction was purely physical. You're in my heart. You're in my soul. 
you'll be the one when I grow old. Yeah. Yeah. So a decision had to be made. Like, are we going to stick it out or no? Look at Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Absolutely. This decision was made by you, Virgo, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm going to tell you, I wasn't going to say it because I've been giving you guys a hard time. And it's not me. I mean, Spirit's been showing me, literally, I'm the messenger. Spirit's been showing me this third party for so long right? Years, we're talking, that I've been doing your reads. And it's, it's been very difficult, as a, it is difficult as a reader, to have a similar a pattern that we, that we get, that we see, and not be able to help. Only through reading the cards. Very difficult. Because we, we, or not all of us maybe, but I certainly, like have been really feeling for you guys. Because like this is, I wasn't even, I saw this as potentially someone getting caught in a third party relationship. Absolutely. Because there's no growth and it, they're sexy, sexy, but Maybe someone wanted another run and that, and then they got caught. And then someone says, I'm taking this, I'm, you know, like someone said, either you get divorced or I'm out. Or the person that they're, that Virgo's married to, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius said, you either let this person go or I'm out. And that's been going on for I don't know how long. And I'm telling you, I feel for this, for this um, read and all the other reads that have ha happened because we, you know, we can relate as readers to these, these, you know, to what's going on in your world, and. This Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you've been dealing with, Virgo, for years, has you have two pages of pentacles. This person, there's no growth in a relationship. Now, now. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say this person is probably very young, maybe much younger than you. And then that's like a contention of why we can't like, you know, get married or something. Have if that is not a third party, let's just say. Cuz I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be here reading you every month the same way. I don't, but I'm not the one I'm the messenger. And look, I mean, I mean, come on. There's three cups. And the page turns into the night. And he's on a dark horse. Some of you love that song, Katy Perry, Dark Horse. But do you see what I'm saying? Someone's someone who rode on the dark horse, not the knight in shining armor, right? The dark horse really has great love for this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But there's nothing you can do about it. Or nothing anyone can do about it. Only you can do something about this if this is a third party. Let's go to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Justice real quick. Let's actually, Justice, Seven of Swords reversed. Someone got caught. Let's get a card on that. And that's what's going on. 
The truth is someone's totally addicted, obsessed on one hand. On the other hand, they don't want to get divorced because they'll lose a lot of money if they do. Like people that get divorced, you know how many, what this, I don't know what the stats are, but getting divorced costs a lot of money. So many people, I'm so sorry to say, it has to be a good majority of couples stay together for that reason and they, you know, they're not happy. All right, this is an obsession. And there's the truth that's not being told. Someone is totally obsessed with someone else. They're at a crossroads. And or someone has, and, <laughs> I'm like yelling, and I feel someone did yell and say, I need to know the truth and you better make a decision fast. So the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords becomes what? An Eight of Swords, which means someone's absolutely stuck and bound in a marriage they're unhappy with. And they were praying and hoping that they could keep a third party around. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's look at what obsession we have here, Virgo, for a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're not talking. And you had to go within as a father. I think you're the father. You're a father figure. You may be a father figure to them. I'm telling you, age is a factor here for sure. I Oh, I just got this, oh, pause. Someone likes, someone has an affinity for unicorns, horses. The Virgos born in August is who I feel we're talking about here. Ace of Swords. Let's go. Someone's, the real deal is that someone is truthfully, madly in love with someone who's younger, sexy, sexy, but they're bound by another commitment and they can't get out of it. They miss this person like crazy. Virgo, you miss this Cancer Pisces Scorpio like crazy. And the hardest part is like, the hardest part, right? That's like pure torture, quite frankly. But how badly, if this resonates with you, Virgo, how badly would that cutting your losses be to be with someone whom you truly love. And I, quite frankly, feel God is asking you that question right now with that two of um, pentacles. Absolutely. And, okay, I'm going to ask. I do have a three. Okay, let's. They want me to go here first. The three of cups, right? Let's just put them here. And the seven of wands reversed. So we've already like been there, done that, where we got, we got you know, um, asked the question, 
what's going on, what's happening. You've already had that convo with your spouse or your live-in, like what's going to happen here to us. And there it is. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yep, someone's stuck and bound. As badly as they want to be set free. And they know, you know you can set yourself free. Or it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with here that feels stuck. I mean, how terrible, really? How terrible is it, Virgo, to be in love with another and be bound by a marriage that, right? Like, you know, like I said, statistically, the majority of marriages, that's why people, the American dream of getting married is literally going out the window. It's because since the beginning of time, the evolution of man has not evolved. There's always someone younger, sexier, cuter. Someone's like totally stuck. You could Virgo be, have a sun Virgo and a moon is Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel you're totally stuck. I feel this is you and probably your spouse or live-in, whomever. I mean, I, di I didn't put these, you saw, you saw me shuffle, right? The storyline has been consistent for you guys. I don't even know what to say. You're missing this person and they don't live near you and you're trying to get over it. And there's another three. And why is that here? Because when we get our ego in a bunch, we want the sexy, hot number to prove our masculinity or our femininity. It, I feel it's a masculine. Anyway, okay. So... There you go. Change of perspective. All right, let's go over here. This page turned into a night. Oh, look at there. Oh my gosh. I mean, come on, Virgo, help me. Now I'm hearing Jerry Maguire. Help me help you. <laughs> All right, listen, I mean, come on. I'm pulling these cards right in front of you. Comment, please comment. Someone's totally sexy, they're beautiful. This Cancer Pisces Scorpio probably is a sun with an Aries Leo Sag moon. This person is absolutely sexy. But where's the growth? This person makes you feel, Virgo, like a kid again. But you don't want to lose that money. You probably worried, you're worried because you knew, you know, this kind of relationship that I've been reading Virgos about this situation, this is kind of like the, um, what's it? What's like you're warped in another generation that you wish you were in Gen Z, you're a baby boomer and you wish you were in Gen Generation Z or a millennial. 
That's what's going on here. Right? Where will the money go? Maybe someone's asking you where the money's gone. I don't know. I feel like this is really hard. This is very bittersweet. That's all I'm going to say. And you know I love you guys. I do. I try so hard. This is the mother. Here's the wife who's reversed because she knows. She knows. Whomever you're... Whomever you've had this long relationship with this relationship look at this is a three this relationship has been going on this one has been going on up to maybe i don't know 20 30 years we have two tens at least 20 years right and this person knows that you've been juggling Look at this, three three people, one holding the, I know it's an ace of pentacles, very aware, but one person is juggling that pentacle with two others over there. And that's the story. There's three of swords, three of here, there's three, three, three everywhere, and there's ten, ten, tens. This is done. And it was done last month as well. If I'm not mistaken, it is over. However... The residual is very difficult. Why? Because there's social media, there's stalking, there's wishing and praying and hoping what you're doing for another shot at it. Why? Another shot at something. Who's, what? Right mind, what person with a right mind would want to be a third party for the duration of your life? Not unless you're paying them, which would be a kept woman. What's your truth? What is the truth? You might have just went to visit them and this is, this was another blow up. This was like a reconfirmation. This had to happen. You already know it, Virgo, because you guys are really, you guys are very, um, intuitive you're one you're the one one of the if not actually one of we're all intuitive but you have you get these hits truly very naturally and there she is cancer pisces scorpio and there they are A mother that looks right, that is reminding you of your youth, the daughter, the one that you is hot, sexy. I am going to give you credit for keeping the secret until it was not able to be kept for long because it came out. And B and or J is significant here. Person, place, or thing. So, after that, we change our perspective, we're sitting here saying, shit, that sucks. Because, you know, I don't want to lose half of my, half of what I've built in my life. That's what really is happening. To, so that, well, that's what you've been very much guided to, 
to know that this too shall pass. So here's your full moon. I could go through the whole deck and I'm not going to, but finally with the full moon, which is tonight, I'm taping full moon in Scorpio. Does, does that even like, right? Where'd she go? That's exactly what you're saying. I love you guys. Come on. Really. This is... I, I really do, but this... This is not... This is the full moon in Scorpio. And I'll tell you, if you did visit this person, they declined. They said no, no longer. They said no. They said, I cannot continue this. And I'm so sorry. I am sorry. But someone's not going back to a third party. Now this makes me feel good just because it's like the finality of the Virgo reads that I've been dealing with for like what feels like so long. Just remember Virgos, this really is and was an obsession to make your ego feel good. And what you realize, what you have come to realize that over time, you may have thought this was the person for you, but maybe in actuality, the person that spent 30 some years with you or 20, 30 years with you, the Empress, maybe you will come to understand or you feel like I, I, I don't know. I don't know what Virgo I'm talking to, but you thought one of these two could have been the one. Like either the person you're married to or in living with, or it's the lover. It's probably the lover. Sorry. We'll put them upright so we could see them. I don't know what to say. It's safe for you to love. I feel like you want, you went, you wanted to be that knight in shining armor for this person. And look at spirit saying, make the effort in the relationship that you're with. Separation. There it is. So someone went to visit. Something happened abruptly. Maybe it was like the last hurrah, you know? I don't know. I, I really, I, I'm, I'm just literally floored by the amount of times that I have read this for you. It's been so long. So you've had some of you, not all of you, okay? This is so, this is so much the same read that I've had for Virgos, that all I can say is, all I can say is that you've had to endure three major losses in your life. <clears throat> Vigilance, stone people. So you have been very vigilant toward getting what you want, rightfully so. Some of you live in Arizona. 
Some of you live by water, but it's been very difficult. Nonetheless, it's difficult to be. And, and now I'm looking, she just showed up. <laughs> she just, she just came to the party. Spirit just said, look at her. Mm-hmm. This is why you're clearing it out because you have been or have you persecuted someone maybe in another life and now they're persecuting you of cheating. It's the same dynamic. And here we have masculine and feminine. So you and this person are clearing out some karma, karmic debt. And I, I am sorry, but they just wanted me to show that to you. Effortless. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So there are times in life that we must be vigilant and be aggressively trying to fight our battles, right? And then there's times in life where it is effortless. And I feel this third party was effortless. And you know why it's effortless? Or it was effortless? Because it was the it was the dream. It was the dream of being attracted to someone who made you feel youthful again. Now take this vice versa, okay? But based on this read and the last, what, five years at least, So someone, you know, maybe you guys have hiked in, you know, in the mountains, gone and sat by a lake, watched, even maybe gone to Niagara Falls, visited waterfalls or have been, or are crying your eyes out. I'm sorry. I am sorry. The ebb and flow of life, my beautiful Virgos, is about going deep within your emotions to truly set the tone for your life as either you're going to make your life, which you have the justice card, either you are going to be in a life of persecution, sorry, persecution being handed to you or choosing to live a life that is effortless however you choose Virgos this life always comes with the ebbs and flows of great happiness and peace and it also comes with the fight and what choices we make in life at the end of the day, our lives. Here's what your read really means. That's why faith came out first. Faith, vigilance, determination, strength, power, to let go of those things, toxicity, the sexy, sexy of a relationship, wanting to have the, the feeling of in love all the time. Finding it in the beginning of a relationship is where you find that great happiness. But spirit always says, what's it worth?
Do you know what I mean? I love you guys. I love you guys. I do. If you are resonating with this, with this read that has been going on for a long time, if this resonates with you, Virgo, let me just say one thing. That great love is worth taking whatever steps and to whatever length of sacrifice that you have chosen to be happy. Your happiness is your power. I love you guys. Have a great month. And please comment below. And don't shoot the messenger. Of course not.